Avogadro's law. Avogadro's law states that equal volumes of gases at the same temperature and pressure contain the same number of particles. Avogadro's law can be represented by volume divided by number of moles is equal to a constant K. So next we'll try an example. What volume of carbon dioxide is produced when 10 decimeters cubed of carbon monoxide reacts with 10 decimeters cubed of oxygen gas? So here's our balanced equation. So we have two moles of carbon monoxide. They react with one mole of oxygen to form two moles of carbon dioxide. Now instead of using moles, because we're dealing with gases, we can say that two volumes of carbon monoxide react with one volume of oxygen to make two volumes of carbon dioxide. So we look at the ratio of carbon monoxide to oxygen and the ratio is two to one. So that means that 10 decimeters cubed of carbon monoxide will react with five decimeters cubed of oxygen. So after all the carbon monoxide has reacted, we'll have five decimeters cubed of oxygen left over. So there is excess oxygen. That means that carbon monoxide is the limiting reactant. So next we look at the ratio between carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide. It's a two to two or a one to one ratio. So if we react 10 decimeters cubed of carbon monoxide, that means we will produce 10 decimeters cubed of carbon dioxide. So let's try another example. Here we have ethene reacting with oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water. And the question is asking what volume of carbon dioxide is produced when 100 centimeters cubed of ethene is reacted with 400 centimeters cubed of oxygen and what volume of oxygen remains. So we look at the reacting volumes from the balanced equation. One volume of C2H4 ethene reacts with three volumes of O2 to produce two volumes of carbon dioxide and two volumes of water vapor. So next we look at the ratio of ethene to oxygen and from the balanced equation it's a one to three ratio. So that means that 100 centimeters cubed of ethene reacts with 300 centimeters cubed of oxygen. So because we start with 400 centimeters cubed of oxygen and we only need 300 centimeters cubed of oxygen to react completely with the ethene, it means that the oxygen is excess and ethene is the limiting reactant. So to determine the volume of CO2 that will be produced, we look at the ratio of the limiting reactant, which is ethene to carbon dioxide, and it's a one to two ratio. Therefore, two times 100, because we have 100 centimeters cubed of ethene to start with, so two times 100 equals 200 centimeters cubed of carbon dioxide is produced. So how much O2 is left over? Well, we started with 400 centimeters cubed of O2, we use 300 centimeters cubed of oxygen to react with the ethene, so that leaves us with 100 centimeters cubed of oxygen.